Hey YouTube. Uh, over here I've got a speaker upgrade for the third generation Prius. But even over above and beyond the speaker upgrade, I use this bigger capacitor to replace the factory one. Uh, if you could see that, that's the capacitor that I used. So I started off by taking off using a soldering iron, taking off the stock capacitor from the stock connector. Uh, I was running it for a couple of weeks we just that stock capacitor and I think it was limiting it um, it's it was definitely a better sound with these Polk audio three and a half inch drivers in the dash but I felt like it was limiting the bass going to the door speakers which I've also upgraded to the six by nines uh, some better six by nines so over here I've got the stock capacitor out and now I'm getting it prepped for the lower frequency capacitor which means that it lets more bass through and just limits and caps out the lower lower frequencies which the three and a halfs are not capable of reproducing very well so in any case uh, I first pre tinned the ends of the bigger capacitor and now I'm soldering it back onto the stock connector and if, after doing this mod and installing it back in the previous I definitely had a better sound and better bass response into the car now and it made a big difference um, I also did some peel and seal into the door panels which I believe helped also so now I've got it all done and soldered the capacitors and of course you're going to want to do that for both the left and right. And just for good measure since some of those wires for that capacitor is exposed I wrapped it up with an, some electrical tape. Of course you don't want to cover up that port connector and after that I folded the capacitor back down so it's more streamlined. And after this we're going to go through the process of reinstalling it back in the dash so there you go that speaker is ready to go back into its connector again and as you can see here of what I've done I just didn't want to cut the factory connector that way everything's plug and play so right here I've got the dash opened up where it goes in so back here with the connector side in first uh, since it's just a short plug that's right inside the dash I plug in the connector into the stock connector that goes to the speaker that, that I soldered into the speaker so now the connector gets plugged in to that and after that I will just reposition the speaker back into that hole uh, I didn't trim the dash which I think it does need to be trimmed a little so that way it sits flush but for now I put it in and it barely fits in there I'm able to wiggle that in I can get one screw in the other screw doesn't line up I could probably do some trim work and make it flush in so that way I can put two screws in the speaker although it's not going to vibrate out anyway and since this is a bigger driver than what was in there putting the stock um, stock grill back on there's a little bit of a bump kind of um, but it doesn't rattle I've tested it out and it's fine uh, eventually I'll probably grind down the inside of that grill so that way uh, it'll sit flush like factory although even with it sticking up slightly it's not really noticeable so it's still fine for me so here I'm installing that one screw that I'm going to be using which is still the factory screw tighten it up and then I will be putting in the grill so again I've been very happy with this upgrade I'll put a link to that capacitor that I used into the description box